Good morning, everyone. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create. Today, I'm here to share with you Chow Bella's Microcosms, which I just completed last night. And look at this paper. It's just so stunning. Um, I added a bow, or actually two bows, and um, some flowers that were in my stash. I think we might have a few packs of the purple flowers, so I'll list them in the description if we have them. And uh, here I've got a cut apart that I've mounted on some black cardstock. I fussy cut out this um, ladybug and this moments. And then under here is another small tag that I fussy cut. I've added two pieces of filigree. I think it just turned out really beautiful. So that is the front, a simple spine, and then the back um, is some matching paper. So if my rec recollection serves me right, this is from the 12 by 12 and this is from the A4 because you only get one of each sheet. Okay, here's page one in the inside cover. Um, this is a cut apart that I've just popped on some chipboard and added uh, to the top flap just to give it a little bit more pop, a little bit more interest. This could easily be a two by three photo that you place here instead because it was a pretty simple bottom. And that opens up. And then this one opens down. And then I've got a, a cardstock backed tag. And then I fussy cut, this was only a partial tag, but I didn't want it to go to waste, so I just fussy cut it out. And I'm using that as a tuck spot here. There are a ton of tags um, left over from the A4, so you could do a lot of embellishing. Um, and I like to kind of wait to add some of my layers um, until I'm actually ready to place photos because then I can tell where I want to put them. Um, a, another beautiful spread, right? The purples. This opens up. This is uh, color blocked here. And then there's a, a little tag that I fussy cut and cardstock backed. I'm going to use that little tag to demonstrate my tucked spots. Okay, and on the other side, same thing. We've got a tag. Um, I've only glued the bottom down, and it's actually fussy cut and then cardstock backed. The seam um, is uh, color blocked. A nice, nice large photo mat. And all the photo mats have a one inch matching band on each side just for continuity, because that's the one thing that you see when you cascade. Okay, page four, I've got this very large pocket on the inside and I did, with papers that I had left over, I made these two large photo mats. And there's really enough paper to cover the back, um, but I just did the front, but you could cover the front and back if you wanted. And then another uh, small um, cut apart right here. This paper is so beautiful, I didn't want to put anything on it. Um, and this one's got a nice layout inside and two large photo mats left over again. This was from the A4. There was two cut aparts. I used one over here and one here. And then this is just left over from one of the uh, sheets that I used from the 12 by 12. Beautiful, beautiful, and you can see that there's a repeated pattern here, um, and that is because it lended itself to these big, beautiful um, six by six patterns that were cut apart from the 12 by 12 collection, and I really wanted to feature them. That's why you see this repeated pattern, because I wanted to get these six by six flaps in. And then the other side has the same pattern, and this is really cute. This will make um, a perfect mount spot for a photograph. It's our last large insert. And then here is page eight. And all the flaps are held together, held in a closed position with um, magnets. And again, there's tons of little cut apart cards and things like this that you can easily add to further embellish your pages once you know where you're gonna place um, your photographs, because I like to put some under and some over on my photographs, so I like to hold off, but I'm gonna keep those handy so that when I'm ready to fill the book, I've got these so that I can stash them around and about inside the album. So this is Microcosmos from Chow Bella, and I, I'm loving this collection. So what I used was one 12 by 12, 
12, one 12 by 12 collection pack, one 12 by 12, what they call patterns pack, which has eight sheets in it, uh, and a six by six. So I used one of each of those. Now, one of the things I loved about this was this image here. Had I gone with two 12 by 12 collection packs, I would have had two of this print and I could have fussy cut and popped it out. And I think I would have liked that even better. Um, so you might want to think about that when you buy these collections, you get one of each of the images. Um, they all coordinate, but if you want to do any, any layered fussy cutting or anything like that, um, you really need to get two of the collection packs. And then the other thing is, as gorgeous as this is, you have to make a choice on this side or the other side because you don't get one of each print. So um, there's 24, I believe it's 24, and I cut up my cover sheet, so I, don't quote me. I think you get 24 patterns on 12 sheets. So you get a lot of different patterns, but you don't get any replication unless you buy two packs. And I could be wrong, it could be 10 sheets. Uh, I wish I had my pack handy, but I'll leave it in the show more or in the description. And if you click on show more, it'll have uh, the paper pack and the quantity of sheets per, per pack. So you know for sure and links back to our shop. And if you scroll past that, you're going to see the cut list for this album, which is super simple. This is a perfect album. If you've been hesitant to jump in and try an album, this is the album for you. It is very simple. There's really only two flap sizes. There's a four by six and a half and a six by six and a half. And that's the only two size flaps that you use throughout the rest, throughout the album. And to keep it really simple, all of the flaps are attached to the outside edges of, um, actually I take that back. This is a four and a half by eight. So that's another, so there's three, um, a total of three flap sizes. But they're all attached to the outside edge of the paper, which makes it very easy to install and very difficult to make a mistake. And I even show you a technique for getting your flap centered on a page, so um, or centered on an edge of a page to be more specific. So it's a great album. If you haven't, haven't wanted to try or felt intimidated, this is a very simple album. And it turned out beautifully because the paper is so elegant. So in this one, I didn't want to do much more. Um, because I think the paper sort of speaks for itself. So this is Daphne from Scrap and Create and Nala in the background saying you guys have a good day. Thanks for spending some time with us this morning. And be sure to like, share, subscribe. We really appreciate that. When you like our videos, um, it goes a long way to moving us up in the recommended list uh, on YouTube so that other like-minded scrappers see our content as well. So thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Be sure to check out our playlist. We have over 45 completed projects that include detailed tutorials um, that we've been putting out there over the last uh, couple of years. So be sure to take a look. All of our tutorials um, and playlists are, are titled with the name of the paper. So take a look around, do some browsing. We encourage you to jump right into this scrapbooking phenomenon that we call mini albums. Thanks again, this is Daphne. Have a great day.